Tonight, parents are raising questions after a gun threat at a Beeville Elementary School. Yesterday, Beeville Independent School District posted a now deleted statement that said a child was disciplined after bringing a toy gun to school and threatening fellow students. Our Taylor Alanis joins us in studio with the parents' reactions. Taylor. Yeah, Mackenzie, a letter sent out by the FMC elementary school principal says there was no immediate threat of danger, but the student involved will be facing criminal charges. Well, some parents we spoke to say they think that's a little overboard. A so student took in a toy gu orange gun to the school. Gracie Riley describes this email that was sent out to her and other FMC elementary parents Wednesday afternoon. But it wasn't until her son told her the details of what happened to him that day that she was outraged. Pointing at kids' heads, telling them he was going to blow their brains out. The letter doesn't describe the exact details of the incident, but did say that students were not in any immediate danger, and Beville ISD police began a full investigation. They will be pursuing not only disciplinary action, but criminal charges. I mean, if they're concerned about uh, a threat and there's actually not a credible threat, I mean, they could do a psychological evaluation. I mean, but criminal charges are just insane. Joey DeHart's son was homesick that day, but after what happened, he plans to transfer him. This overreaction is more of a threat than a child with a toy gun. He says the punishment is way too harsh. He could possibly face criminal charges that could uh, affect him all the way up until he's 17. Wiley disagrees. Even though it's a toy gun, okay, apparently this time it was a toy gun. What's next? You know. She says in a day and age where bullying can quickly turn deadly. They're more at risk now than what, when I went to school back in the 80s and 90s. Wiley says the school should have told parents sooner. It's not right what this kid did and uh, you know, okay, criminal charges, that's fine, but let the parents know. And I did reach out to Beeville ISD by phone, email, and even in person about the incident and why they deleted their post on Facebook, but was told no one was available to speak with me today. Mackenzie.